have a banana and a have a salami, salami. Give with the gravy, gravy. Everybody eats when they come to my house. The question is, what makes a good cook cook good? It's the guy who ain't burning the food. It's the guy who's sitting there watching, making sure everything's going just right, man. It's the guy who's got the spatula and he flips it when it's time to flip. The guy who don't burn the food is the good cook. Today we're making pepperoni bread. I'm talking the real pepperoni bread from the Italian bakery stuff. The kind that when you break it open, the steam comes out and all that aroma of pepperoni and a little bit of red grease and the nice fluffy innards of bread is just all stuck together and it's just wonderful and full of love. That's what I'm talking about. That's what we're making. And we start with Meyer brand frozen bread dough. Man, this stuff is incredible. You get five loaves for like three bucks. Five loaves. You take one frozen loaf and you spray it all over with the Meyer brand pan. The butter flavor stuff, man. And you put that in a bowl with more of the pan stuff sprayed all inside. And you get the lid, man. They got these cool things that used to be bathing caps, but now they're called bowl covers. What in the world were they going to do with all them bathing caps back in the day? You put them over bowl. You spray them on the inside with the non-stick pan, Meyer brand, and you put that frozen bread in inside the bowl and you leave it on the counter overnight and all night the magic happens man the bread just starts to warm up and all the things inside come to life and it just grows and grows and it's just so beautiful and fluffy you wake up and you go oh my god god because that stuff grew past the bathing cap and it's all on the outside so you you have to flower your work area you just take a dollop you throw it down you spread it Bounce so the good dough doesn't stick to any food. So you wash your hands good with some warm soap and water. Dry them off. And then you get this beautiful hunk of wonderful dough. And it's going to fall flat. But that's part of it, man. Because you got to push it down. And then you roll it out this way. You roll it out that way. You make it nice and like a rectangle. And then you get your Michelangelo brush and you dip it in a broken, scrambled raw egg. Don't be afraid of eggs, man. They're just eggs. I don't know what that stuff is, but it's just good. You mix it all up with the fork. You dip your Michelangelo paintbrush, and you brush that whole surface out so nice. And then you get your Mrs. Dash Italian flavor, but you got to be careful, man, because this Italian-flavored Mrs. Dash is powerful stuff. And you can hurt your taste buds if you put too much of that stuff on. So you just sprinkle very gently. And then you get your Meyer brand bag of pepperonis, man. It's a dollar eighty-nine for a bag. You can get two and a half loaves out of a dollar eighty-nine worth of pepperoni. And it's gonna knock you down, man. This stuff's got some poof. So you put as much pepperoni as you want. You know, I mean it's your bread. There's plenty of room if you like just like a little bit of pepperoni put in there. I myself, I make my loaf of pepperoni bread into a meal. When I wake up, I want pepperoni bread and orange juice. For lunch, I got pepperoni bread and Pepsi. And for dinner, okay, I'm going to make my spaghetti, but I'm going to dip it with the pepperoni bread. Man, it's just some awesome stuff. So where was I? Jeez, oh, pizzeria. So, dig this. You got your bread dough. You flattened it out. You did the Michelangelo with the raw egg. You just put the pepperoni all nice and everywhere. And then you got to roll it. Now you got to be careful when you roll it because you pepperoni is going to fly off. You know, the pepperoni, you're going to lose the pepperoni. And you can't lose no pepperoni. So you fold it once. You do the Michelangelo with the raw egg. You brush it on there. You roll it over again. And then you pinch all along the sides. You got to make this nice little, this little pinch line, man. You, you know, and it's, it's okay, it's not going to stick perfectly, you're just making bread, man, okay? You're not building a house, you're just making bread. You put it on a greased pan, and you put that pan in the oven at 350 degrees Fahrenheit, and you wait 30 minutes. Hey, call your mom, you know, when was the last time you talked to her? Or, I don't know, you know, turn, turn the radio on, you know, look at your computer screen, how about that? Come back and say hello to me. 30 minutes. And while you're doing the 30 minutes, see, I keep my oven light on because I want to watch it. It's a miracle, man. This is the miracle of life. Making bread, it grows and it oozes and it moves and it's just, it's just remarkable. I got to tell you, I got to make two loaves at a time and it's just twice the time. 30 minutes. 
you take it out, you let it cool for maybe one minute. There ain't no testing, okay? It's gonna be nice, nice and brown because you did the Michelangelo thing. You painted the outside with the raw egg too. Wherever you touch the egg, it's gonna have this wonderful, light, fluffy, crisp to it. That's just gonna make your girlfriend fall in love with you. What better means of getting your girlfriend to fall in love with you than with some great food, man? A great cook is the cook that don't burn the food. And that's who you are, man. You're the good cook. I'm the good cook. You just gotta stay in the kitchen for a little while. Have a little bit of fun. Put your ingredients together. And you're rocking, man. That's the pepperoni bread recipe today. The next recipe is pepperoni pastries. Forget about this apple and cherry fruit filling. I'm talking pepperoni, buddy. And it's a dollar in a pack. You can do wondrous things. Pepperoni pastry, that's the next one. Until next time, Bogdan Vasquez playing the bass and cooking in the kitchen. Don't burn it. See ya. Everybody, when they come to my house.